Upon its release in 1987, Lethal Weapon crossed over $120 million against a production budget of $15 million and was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Sounds. It also spawned a franchise that includes three sequels and a television series. Let's take a look back at the stars of the thrilling franchise with us and find out where they are now. Standing 6 foot 3 inches tall, Danny is a giant of the TV and film industry, having played Vietnam veteran turned cop Roger Murtau in the three Lethal Weapon sequels. He is also in the Oscar nominated film The Color Purple, medical TV drama ER, and the 80s classic series Hill Street Blues. And now at 76, Glover is still acting and producing with several projects in the pipeline. He is also known for his political activism, focusing on issues like economic justice and access to healthcare and educational programs in the USA and Africa. Legendary singer Darlene Love played Trish Murtaugh, Roger's wife. She was the lead singer of the girl group The Blossoms, and she also recorded as a solo artist. She has been dubbed by David Letterman as the reigning Queen of Christmas. Love played Trish Martau in all four Lethal Weapons films and performed in various Broadway productions as an actress. Darlene Love, now 81, was ranked among Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Singers and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Tracy Wolf made her acting debut as Roger and Trish's daughter, Ryan, and later reprised the role in all three sequels. However, her other acting credits only include guest spots on episodes of In the Heat of the Night and The Cosby Show. After Lethal Weapon 4, Wolf did not appear in another film, but according to various sources and images found around the internet, she appears to be working as a catalog model for women's clothing. Tracy Wolf is 62 years old as of now. Actor Damon Hines starred as Nick Murtaugh in the 1987's Lethal Weapon and later returned for three more sequels of the franchise. After Lethal Weapon 4, released in 1998, Hines has slowed down on his acting career with his only acting credit was in the 2012's TV series Happy Endings. There is no further information about Hines' later career, nor his birthday and personal life. American actor Gary Bussey played Mr. Joshua, the chief enforcer working for General Peter McAllister. Bussey also took on roles in movies like Predator 2, Point Break, Under Siege, Lost Highway. A year after Lethal Weapon, the Texan actor suffered a fractured skull and permanent brain damage when he was injured in a motorbike accident and was hooked on cocaine for several years. Recently, on August 19, 2022, the 78-year-old actor was arrested and charged with three sexual offenses and one count of harassment at Monster Mania Con in New Jersey, where he was a featured guest. Former Dark Shadow star Mitchell Ryan portrayed the villainous General Peter McAllister a retired special ops general who runs a heroin smuggling operation. Ryan since appeared in many other movies, done some voiceover works, and became the president of Screen Actors Guild Foundation. The actor died of a heart failure at his home in Los Angeles, California on March 4, 2022, at the age of 88. Tom Atkins, known for his roles in the John Carpenter films The Fog and Escape from New York, played Michael Hunsaker a Vietnam War vet and old friend of Marto's, whose daughter commits suicide. Throughout his long-lasting acting career, the actor is known for his work in the horror and thriller film genres, having worked with writers and directors such as Shane Black, John Carpenter, Stephen King, and is also a familiar face to mainstream viewers, often playing police officers and tough authority figures. Born on November 13, 1935, Atkins is 86 years old. Mary Ellen Trainer was an American character actress, best known for her roles as LAPD psychiatrist Dr. Stephanie Woods in the Lethal Weapon films. She is also known as the newscaster Gail Wellens in Die Hard and Ricochet, and working mother Irene Walsh in The Goonies. Sadly, Trainer died on May 20, 2015 from complications of pancreatic cancer. She was 62 years old. Actor Joe Pesky appeared as Leo Getz, a comedic sidekick and best friend to protagonist detectives Martin Riggs and Roger Murtaugh in the Lethal Weapon sequels, released in 1989, 1992, and 1998. He is known for portraying tough, volatile characters for his collaborations with Robert De Niro and Martin Scorsese in the films Raging Bull, Goodfellas, The Irishman, and also for his comedy role in the first two installments of the Home Alone franchise. After his long retirement from 1999, 
Pesky returned to acting in music in 2016 and has since worked steadily in the industry. He is now 79 years old. Joss Ackland is a retired English actor who has appeared in more than 130 film and television roles. He appeared in the 1989's Lethal Weapon 2 as the character Arjun Rudd. The actor continued to tackle numerous acting roles throughout the years, with his last credit was as Rufus in the British historical drama film Catherine of Alexandria, 2014. As of this video, Josh Ackland is aged 94. Irish theatre and character actor Derek O'Connor joined the cast of Lethal Weapon 2 in 1989 as the South African mercenary Pieter Vorstedt. O'Connor was also known for his roles in three Terry Gilliam films and was a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company. He died in June 2018 of pneumonia in Santa Barbara, California at the age of 77. The British beauty Patsy Kensett appeared in the second film in 1989, playing Martin Riggs' girlfriend Rika van den Haas when she was just 21 years old. Beginning her career as a child actor, Kensett earned her breakthrough role as Suzette in the musical film Absolute Beginners in 1986, and also achieved recognition as a model and the lead singer of the English band Eighth Wonder in the 1980s. In recent years, Patsy has appeared regular in films and television. The now 54-year-old beauty has been married and divorced four times. American actress Jeanette Goldstein has appeared in second installments as Detective Megan Shapiro and was dramatically killed off by flinging herself from an exploding diving board. Jeanette, 62, was in big hitters like Terminator 2, Aliens, and Titanic. By now, she runs a bra company for ladies with bigger busts, known for its slogan, The Alphabet Starts at D. Stuart Wilson is an American actor of film, television, and stage, who is best known for his villainous and supporting roles in popular films, including Lethal Weapon 3 as Jack Travis. His other notable movies are Death and the Maiden, The Mask of Zorro, Enemy of the State, and Hot Fuzz. Wilson, now 75, is still active in the acting industry, but appearing less. Marine shot to fame thanks to her role as internal affairs detective Sergeant Lorna Cole in the third installment which was a huge box office success. She was described by Variety magazine as a breath of fresh air in the male-dominated action movie world. Unlike some of the other characters, Lorna didn't meet a sticky end and was brought back again for the fourth movie. Russo later kept on tackling numerous other roles and has recently returned as Frigga, the mother of Thor and Avengers Endgame. The now 68-year-old mom of one revealed on the Queen Latifah show in 2014 that she was taking bipolar medicine. The 57-year-old American comedian Chris Rock appeared in the fourth movie in 1998 as rookie cop Lee Butters. Roger Murtaugh's son-in-law, known for his work in comic film, television, and stage, Rock has received multiple accolades and was ranked number five on Comedy Central's list of the 100 greatest stand-ups of all time. Chris, who hosted the Academy Awards twice and was involved in an incident on the stage at the 2022 Awards, divorced his wife in 2016 and afterwards admitted infidelity and a porn addiction were to blame. The role as Uncle Benny Chan in the 1998's fourth installment was played by Chinese-American actor and producer Kim Chan. He was most notable for his roles as Lo Si, aka the Ancient in Kung Fu, The Legend Continues, and Mr. Kim in The Fifth Element. Chan passed away on October 5, 2008, aged 90. For his contributions, Kim Chan was presented Lifetime Achievement Awards by the Screen Actors Guild Council and the Rhode Island International Film Festival. Chinese film actor, martial artist, and retired Wushu champion Jet Li made his international film debut in Lethal Weapon 4 as Chinese Mafia hitman Hua Sing Ku, which also marked the first time he had ever played a villain in a film. Li has gone on to star in many international action films, including Romeo Must Die, Kiss of the Dragon, all three of the Expendables movies, Milan and more. The now 59-year-old superstar was also appointed as the image ambassador of Wushu at the 2007 World Wushu Championships and launched his own fitness program in 2009. Mel Gibson has carved a lifetime career out of playing LAPD narcotics detective Martin Riggs, who was reckless and suicidal following the death of his wife. At the time, he was known best for starring as Max Rokitansky in the first three films of the post-apocalyptic action series Mad Max. 
The actor then reprised his role in three more Lethal Weapons films, and starred in numerous other acting projects, and became well known with action epics like Braveheart, The Patriot, and We Were Soldiers. After several legal issues and a controversial statements leaked to the public, Gibson's public image plummeted significantly, affecting his careers in acting and directing. As of now, the actor is 66 years old. That was all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below if you have a recommendation for our channel and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to support us. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the upcoming videos on Top 10 Famous Channel.